thing was for you, wasn't it? He was indeed. It's going to have to be a three-story yeah. chair. <laughs> Here we go once again. It's goodbye ditty time. The chance to weave some insults into a little rhyme. The chance to risk life and limb. The chance to cook my goose. Because out of 47 verses, there's 40 of abuse. <laughs> <laughs> I'll read the whole thing out to you, Dave, to see how you feel. If you don't see the funny side, it's the work of an O'Neill. <laughs> And I think I ought to tell you, in case you're mad as hell, that some ideas came from Ian, and Steve will help as well. Dave and Jack Lee too. Jeff wrote a verse. Chris's bits were cryptic. Derek's even worse. <laughs> in fact, the whole department, as you will clearly see, wrote a lot of insults. Everyone. Except me. <laughs> Who shouted crawler? I won't have that said. It's just it's more fun living than being somewhat dead. You see, we had a big staff meeting to discuss what to say, to find the words to describe our esteemed boss, D.A. The very first suggestion came from Jeff and Jack. They didn't have a shred of doubt. You're a megalomaniac. <laughs> Acting as the chairman, I asked, does that describe them fully? Of course not, said Ian and Steve. Just call him Dave the Bully. <laughs> but there's no doubt your resignation was such a big surprise. It brought lumps to our throat and tears to our eyes. <laughs> but I must be honest, Dave, that behind those heavy sighs, we've been booking four week holidays and taking off our time. <laughs> <laughs> it's surprising that you're leaving with things left undone. Seeing projects reach fruition would be kind of fun. For instance, the South Hotel. You'd see it open its door. You wouldn't have to stay long. Just two or three years more. <laughs> <laughs> Still, perhaps your job's done. There's no windmills left to tilt. So it's back to the motherland, but not to don a kilt. <laughs> but instead a pair of city stripes, a season ticket for the train. A bowler hat and brolly to combat British rain. <laughs> To earn a tax-deducted salary and pay a mortgage also heavy. Commuting hours in the train, not five months in the Chevy. Facing loss of gas bills, battling with the snow. Stumping up for school fees. Are you sure you want to go? <laughs> it's well known you're a wealthy man. <laughs> but your new job caused a laugh. Most people have a bank account. You have to join the staff. <laughs> Of course the bank's American, and that's the vital clue. The interviewer was impressed, no doubt, by your Weber barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> Going back to our staff meeting, we invented a little game. Guessing what the A stands for in your middle name. O'Neill suggested Adolf. <laughs> Well, he likes his bit of fun. <laughs> Henderson's suggestion was a tiller as a pun. <laughs> to find a better answer, we asked your greatest fan, a certain legal gentleman who hails from Pakistan. <laughs> he didn't want to stick to A, but I was firm, you know me. I ruled against four-letter words that start with F and C. <laughs> the word awkward was his first choice. Abrasive came much later. Then he smiled and even sort of smiled. It's A for abdicator. <laughs> Accountant said your institute. Then author came to mind. Alcoholic said the rugby club, but that's a bit unkind. <laughs> Andy of the rugby club <laughs> had something else to say. It's A for aggressive. Then he limped away. <laughs> <laughs> Affluent, said your bankers. Accomplished, said H. E. Argumentative, said George, but he said you'll not agree. <laughs> Noli said Adonis. <laughs> <laughs> well, we laughed till we were sick. <laughs> when someone said Achilles heel, it reminded us of Dick. <laughs> Actually, Dick's written a book. 
and in just the last few weeks it's become a bestseller. It's called Interview Techniques. <laughs> discussed your managerial skills and we think it's a safe bet that there may be a better manager but we haven't met one yet. How did that one get in here? <laughs> that was a sophomore. You've always shown such leadership and you were always very fair. Like that time at Bemo's house when we were worse for wear. It was gratitude we felt that night when you descended without warning. That's why Steve phoned to thank you at three in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> and there's always been an aeroplane flying overhead. <laughs> God, I'm nervous up here. I wish that I was dead. <laughs> and you've always been supportive, at least when you were in. But let's be honest, your leave request file is not exactly thin. <laughs> From Nice to San Francisco, you've certainly had your fill, travelling around the globe first class, and never feared a bill. <laughs> On behalf of risk management for the battles that you fought, where many more were won than lost, thanks for your support. You've been so supportive, but occasionally dashed our hopes, like turning down our request for airmail envelopes. <laughs> <laughs> and I thank you on behalf of Tom. That would be only right. But I won't do it quite like Tom. I will be here half the night. <laughs> Actually, I phoned up Mr. T just the other night. I asked him what the A stands for. He thought 18 sounded right. <laughs> then he pondered for a little while. The phone bill was quite steep. He said it's A for... Tom always was a creep. <laughs> <laughs> but we discovered what the A stands for, and this will make you frown, but under intense interrogation, young McNabb broke down. <laughs> Angus. That's a bull's name. <laughs> Through and through. Wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> Angus, that's a bull's name. Scottish, through and through. A snorting, bad tempered Scottish beast. <laughs> it's a perfect name for you. Because <laughs> you've been known to show a temper, we've all heard you shout, but we put that down to hangovers and a nasty touch of gout. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've hurled enough abuse, it was just a little game. It's clear that without you, he won't be the same. The very best of luck, old mate. We think you cannot fail, surrounded by your family. Going back to what the A stands for, and this really is the end, all of us will think of it as A for absent friends. <laughs>